I don't know why, but OpenAI made a coloring book, GPT. Well, I always have my eye on what OpenAI is doing, whether it's uh, advancements, new features to chat GPT, or even GPTs that they're making themselves. So we're going to take a look at this coloring book hero, talk about a couple fun use cases. I think uh, so much we talk uh, here on the channel about generative AI and how uh, it can be used to grow your business and your career, but why not have a little fun, right? AI is supposed to be fun. All right, so uh, if you're new here, thanks for joining us. This is our AI in five. Every single day, we take about five minutes and show you a different generative AI tool, technique, uh, piece of software, or GPT. So if you're if you're new to the channel, thanks. Please subscribe, but also go to youreverydayai.com. We do a daily live stream podcast and uh, free daily newsletter. All right, let's jump into it. So uh, I always keep my eye on what GPTs that chat GPT themselves are uh, creating and, and making. And some of them make no sense at all. Uh, you know, uh, some of them, I, I, I think, you know, are pretty cool. Um, so we're looking at, uh, this one here, which is the coloring book hero. All right. So, uh, if you are new to GPTs, you just have to have a chat GPT plus account, $20 a month. Uh, and this right here, it's again from chat GPT and it just says, turn any idea into a whimsical coloring book page. All right. So not a lot of, uh, you know, details on what it does, but presumably you just enter a photo of yourself uh, or you can uh, describe something. So first, let's just describe something. I'm going to say uh, a fun Chicago skyline, right? I'm from Chicago. Um, sometimes I just like to, you know, when testing out uh, different AI tools, especially visual ones, I just like to do things with Chicago uh, consistency that I can see from um, kind of test to test. So uh, presumably it's going to give us a black and white uh, version of, there we go, of Chicago that we could save and print out. Uh, so here we go. So it's uh, ready for coloring. So the thing that most people, uh, I think, overlook when it comes to chat GPT and GPTs is it can be iterative, right? So I can continue to have a conversation. So in theory, let's say I wanted to create a series of, you know, Chicago skyline coloring books. So uh, you can't get it right every single time. And one thing that a lot of people don't know about uh, Dolly within ChatGPT, which this image is being created through Dolly, is I can actually click it and then I can click this info button here. And obviously I uh, put in a very short prompt about Chicago Skyline and it gave me this much longer, much more in-depth prompt. So uh, if, if I wanted to try to create something consistent, maybe a consistent coloring book, um, I can, I'm going to go ahead and copy this. Then I'm going to go ahead and uh, paste this in. Um, so now, here's the thing. Dolly is still going to change this, and uh, but the coloring book hero, GPT, will still make me a GPT. But presumably, if I use this much longer description, I'm going to get something in a similar style. All right, it's still probably going to change it a little bit, but let's just see. Uh, so it says it already did the result, and I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to say, please do it again. So here, Dolly and this GPT coloring book hero sees that this was the exact same uh, kind of prompt that I used previously. So we'll see if it actually uh, creates a similar image that we can get a, a coloring book um, kind of that has consistent pages, right? Because if you wanted to create an actual coloring book versus just a single page, you might want some consistency from image to image. So we'll give it a minute here. And the next thing that we're going to test is uh, bringing in our own image. All right, so here we go. So uh, it did something pretty similar. So now what I could do in theory is I could do different um, different variations of this. So maybe I just wanted it to be just the bean. All right, so I could do this and I could take out, I could say mainly focusing on, mainly focusing on a ground level view of the bean. All right, so there we go. So now Presumably, this is going to be similar uh, to these first two images, but it's just going to be uh, more on the vantage point of the bean, which if you don't know Chicago, that's this little bean looking sculpture right there. All right. So we're going to give that a second. And the next one we're going to do is I just have a random photo here on my computer. Uh, I have this photo that I took on vacation. So I'm going to upload this and see if I can get a coloring book from my vacation, right? Cool way to, you know, kind of um, remember different aspects of life of different trips you've taken, uh, etc. So let's jump back in. There we go. And now we have a similar style, but it is much more through the vantage point of the bean, right? So this is, uh, if you were visiting the bean, this is probably what it would look like from the ground level there. 
All right, so now let's just do one more. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna upload that photo. Uh, we're not gonna give it any other, um, uh, we're not gonna give it any other feedback. We're just gonna upload the photo and presumably it's gonna give us, it's gonna change it a little bit, uh, but hopefully we get something that looks uh, at least something like this, right? So presumably there's gonna be two chairs, uh, a table, maybe two empty uh, glass bottles there, as well as some, uh, some picturesque water. So let's just go ahead. So right now, this GPT, the Coloring Book Hero from OpenAI, is uh, very slowly responding to me. If you're thinking of turning this photo, uh, if you're thinking of turning this into a coloring page, imagine adding some playful elements. Um, so, what's what's weird is it didn't even say anything. It, it didn't say like, "Would you like me to do this?" So I'm just going to say, "Please recreate that photo." Let's see if that works there. So again. All of these uh, GPTs uh, are, are kind of specially built, right? So uh, in, it's gonna be different every single time that you use this. Uh, in my testing of this one, I uploaded a photo, it spit it out just fine. In this time, it's really not uh, doing anything on the first uh, attempt. So I'm, I'm asking it now to please recreate that photo. If uh, it's, it's, it's having a little trouble. So if it's, if it's uh, not gonna create it on this last one, I'm gonna try it one more time but uh, include um, the instructions to recreate the photo when I upload it. So it's being a little slow here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click stop. I'm gonna go ahead and again, uh, upload that photo. And I'm gonna say, please recreate this as a coloring book page. Please recreate this as a coloring book page. All right, we'll see if that, uh, does it on the technically the first attempt of trying it uh, this way. So uh, we'll give this a second and let's just quickly look at the other GPTs that ChatGPT has created. So this is interesting. I've tried most of these. Some of them I don't understand. They don't make sense. Uh, the hot mods does not do a very good job. Uh, the data analyst, it, it works similarly to the data analyst mode inside of ChatGPT. Uh, ChatGPT Classic here uh, is just kind of a stripped down version of ChatGPT. The web browser one, I don't understand that one at all. Uh, it doesn't really do anything differently than browser Bing. So I'm not really sure of some of the use cases, but again, the one that we're kind of uh, reviewing today, Coloring Book Hero, I thought was a, a pretty unique uh, use case for ChatGPT. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, jump back in. For whatever reason, whether it's ChatGPT or this GPT in general, is being a, a little bit slow today, but no worries, you get that uh, from time to time. I'm going to go ahead and uh, we'll give this here. Looks like we got just about 10 more seconds. Let's just go back up and look at some of these. So again, uh, you can click these. You can download them uh, when they are done. Uh, you can also, you know, kind of, you know, train this GPT by giving it thumbs up or thumbs down, uh, you know, as you go along. So let's see if, uh, if it's finished. Looks like we're just about done for whatever reason it is. Uh, this Coloring Book Hero GPT is struggling a little bit to uh, recreate our image that we've uploaded, uh, even though in previous testing, it worked just fine. But that is generative AI. You know, when you go to do something live, it, it changes things. So uh, here we go. Uh, obviously, it, it doesn't really look very much like the original photo, but the um, the main uh, the main elements are there that we talked about, kind of the, the two chairs, um, the, the two bottles, and the, the background. Uh, Interestingly enough, it, it kind of pre-colored, uh, you, you know, uh, which, which kind of takes away the point of, you know, having a, a coloring book. If you wanted to print this out, you can't really color all of this because it's already pre-colored. All right. That was just a fun look at a new uh, GPT from ChatGPT. Uh, if you enjoyed this, please go to youreverydayai.com, sign up for the free daily newsletter, and we'll see you back for another AI in 5. Thanks, y'all.